<laughs> oh. This is too soupy. So I'm gonna bring some dry concrete and mix it in the barrel before I put it anywhere because this is like a tomato soup. Oh boy. It's going all over the place. Oh. I'm like Serena Williams. Yeah, yeah, whoa, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, uh, 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 uh. <sighs> All my piles, I'm in Virginia, and all my piles are just a little bit bigger than 24 inches. And the frost line in this part of Virginia is anywhere between 20 to 24 inches, apparently. I always put a little bit of water first. I don't know if it's this mixer, but the mixer kind of feels like it's tilted too back. And uh, so I'm actually on a bit of a slope, but sometimes if water's back there already, it'll soak in with some of the concrete and then I'll put a little more water on top. When I've put all the concrete in at the same time, it just, uh, I don't know, it starts to clump up. So anyhow, this is how I do it. it works for me. I'm using a quickcrete or sack crate, basically the same thing, 5,000, only because I have a bunch of it extra left over from a job I did. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's important to put the mask on your face. That's the whole point. an adjustment maybe there is <laughs> I don't know but this is the angle that it works the best so it's a little flatter it really flips around that concrete when it's like this it barely does anything
I should have done this before, but <laughs> oh man, if you don't know me, I start to just do things too quickly. That's how I roll. We're gonna use this level, this little string level here. Make sure we're on target. Hey guys, thanks for watching part two of this cabin build. And I'm currently in the middle of it, but I have already filmed I think eight or 10 episodes worth. They're not all one day, most of them are because every time I have a day where I can actually spend some time on the cabin, I spend as much of the day as possible. My wife and I are expecting our first baby. So that is also uh, <laughs> becoming a bit of a priority, but I, uh, my intention with the cabin is to, you know, get a roof on it. Um, and the order that I do things is not always probably the best order, but, uh, you know, I'm the type of personality where I see something that needs to get done. I mean, obviously there's a lot of things that need to get done. Um, but I get fixated on that one thing and I just do it to a point where it's almost done and then all of a sudden I see something else that needs doing and then before you know it, I'm like full bore doing that. Anyhow, it's always interesting. But anyhow, yeah, so in this episode you saw I poured the piles with concrete, I put rebar into the ground. Um, all my piles were dug at a minimum of around 20, 22 inches and the frost line in Virginia is 18 inches. I mean, we're still moving along. I'll try and do some of these little updates in front of the camera because I know I don't always answer, or, I mean, I don't always tell you guys what I'm doing in the video. I just start kind of filming and doing it. Um, sometimes I forget. So anyhow, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, please like and subscribe. Um, it's fun making these and I love seeing the YouTube channel grow uh, as it is. So thank you guys and thanks for hanging around. And uh, I'm gonna start working on the next one right now. All right, see ya.